Have you, you've had a series of depressing jobs, haven't you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I call them all. My first ever job was uh, at Wicksteed Park in Kettering, where I'm from. And um, I remember the first day of that was the kind of like, it was the final cementing that I didn't want to do a nor I couldn't do a normal job. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember uh, I worked in the, the food outlet and we would like uh, serve ice creams and drinks all day. And uh, this guy called Chetin, who was showing me around, uh, he showed me how to, he said, this is where we put the hot chocolate powder and you've got to open the powder, uh, the, the bags, but you've got to be careful once, right? I opened it really fast and all the chocolate it puffed up in my face and then later on I sneezed it tastes like chocolate <laughs> <laughs> and I remember when, when he said that to me I just thought I can't I can't work here I can't, <laughs> I can't uh, if, if that's if that's the best anecdote he's got <laughs> for the whole time he's been here I can't work at Wixley Park no oh well I'm glad uh, the problem is I made you a hot chocolate earlier yeah. and I told you the exact same anecdote yeah yeah oh, well, I, I, I do just a lot of my stories I just changed the name Josh <laughs> <laughs> to uh, worst work colleague you say well <laughs> let me start here <laughs> uh, yeah no, I've, I've worked a lot of kitchens I used to teach kids the drums in the um, kitchens? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Pots and you pans. used to teach kids drums? Yeah, in a right. music so shop. Well, that's going to be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a song, because that's the kind of anecdote I want to settle down into. <laughs> Josh Widdicombe. Yes. XFM. This is Josh Widdicombe on XFM, and I am joined still by James Acaster. Big time. Big time. And <laughs> we are talking about worst work colleagues. It, specifically, we are talking about your period as a drum teacher. Mm, to my, children. You see, my colleagues, yeah, no colleagues there, really. It was no just teaching colleagues. drums. It was the, it was the students, n none of which pr ever practised the drums. I didn't think that was necessary. No. But uh, How difficult them, can it be? Well, <laughs> so that was kind of the thinking behind it, I think, for a lot of them. But uh, their excuses for not practising... One kid, who was also called James, uh, he was about seven, and his excuse for not practising would get more elaborate <laughs> every week as to why he wasn't doing it. But, but not elaborate as in, like, fantastic, but really mm. boring. What, once he just went, um... Thing is, this week I've really been getting into writing down car number plates. <laughs> so that's been taken. He really was like you. Wasn't yeah. he? <laughs> was like, I, was, I was like, well, fair play, mate. We've all been there. <laughs> we've, the old we've, we've, all, we've all caught the bug. I know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> right, and, um, oh, well, so um, he was your favourite. Yeah, he, he, he would go around um, writing down. He, yeah, so he'd been going around just writing them down all week, like he was some sort. Of What's the so what? Let's let's cut to the chat. What's the worst work colleague you've ever had? Oh well, no. <laughs> well, well, to give you an idea, listeners, James just looked at the clock. <laughs> as it to go <laughs> I mean, it's a bit it's quite bad. I mean, he. By the way, on my last day, but I'd worked there for three and a half years. Um, also, there was a girl who's her last day of work. She's a waitress. She'd been working there for six months, and um, she left in the afternoon. Her shift finished at three, and she left with uh, an arm. For, she had to have people help her carry her presents and cards out of, of the door. Uh, she had like a massive card that played a, a song when you opened it, and, and it, that all, all all day she kept on opening it and laughing, and they're all helping her lift all her presents into the car. <laughs> Then at the end of my shift, which was in the evening, um, everyone just said, see you later, mate. Shook my hand, I was like, oh. No. <laughs> well, I, fair enough. Uh, maybe they got me. You know, at least, Surprise at least. coming up. Yeah, yeah. I was, and, I, oh, yeah and there was Josh, because I walked into the car park to uh, my, my Ford Fiesta and uh, discovered that they had covered it with dessert sauce and fish juice. Uh, oh. And uh, it was a main, uh, and mainly, so mainly, mainly haddock, haddock juice, oh, which no, is the worst, worst. which, worst. by the way, got into the air vents and my car <laughs> di didn't lose the smell for a month and a half. <laughs> Um, <laughs> also, the dessert sauce, they were clever enough to um, squirt it underneath the handles of the door so I couldn't access my cleaning products which I had inside the car. I couldn't get into the car. So um, uh, I ended up phoning the perpetrators who had already gone home and uh, making one of them come back and help me. And he was not. He said, why do you think I would want to come back and clean your car? Which I replied, why did you think I wanted to? <laughs> like, I was going to be like, going, you guys know me, you know what I like. Last day. Clean. What a treat. Yeah, yeah. Mmm, had a 